Hello, uh, this is part three of creating a third person shooter. I was just about to say first person shooter, I'm not doing that. So a third person one and um, I've realised I've left this a week and just started recording and not realised what we did before. So that's annoying, you can go away. So let's have a look. So we should have. So did we, ah, that's what I remember. So we sorted out our camera so we can rotate our camera all around, look up and down, left and right. And it's all nice and smooth and looking quite lovely and we can see in the scene view as well. But first things first, we can't move um, because we what we did was we, um, let's have a look at our script and then I'll explain it, it's a lot easier. So here's our script. And at the moment, we have our, I took out of update, I took all of our movement out of update and created a new method for it called movement. But I didn't call up movement within update, so the script doesn't know when to call up um, movement, so it's not being called up. So what we need to do is just quickly make a space here and let's call up movement. So I'm gonna write movement. There we go, bracket, bracket, semicolon, press save. Um, okay, let's just see if you can see read that. Cool, press play and we should have movement. Fantastic. Okay, so we have movement and we look around and we can move, but um, we're going to look at something from local space to world space and currently we're uh, in this battle between um, between the two. So our camera is world space, we can look all around, this is moving, all nice and lovely, we want to go right, we can go right, we want to go left, we can go left, up, down, fantastic, it's not inversed or anything like that. So, but in a third person game, you're, you're scrolling around, you want to look at over here, and you press forward, you're not going that way, we're going left, and if we look that way, we want to go this way now, and we press forward, we're not, we are stuck in this uh, local space for our capsule. So, we want to look where we're going essentially and then go in that direction and that is um, so if you ever get confused by this and um, you want to look it up it is um, local space to world space okay that's what we're currently trapped in and we want to be in world space all of the time so wherever in the world we look we are moving in that direction okay so what we're going to do we're going to come out of play come out of our scene um, go into our script as we were. So, um, and this do, 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 do is all a part of our movement. So, if we go into our movement method, and what we need to look for is um, we need to look at something or find something called transform, um, transform direction. We want to move in the direction we are looking. Okay. So this really already helps us because we've already created a direction within our movement script, if you remember so rightly. When we broke this down from when we took um, this original script from Scripts and API from Unity, um, we broke this down and we created our own variable called direction, which is here. So it was a private vector free, so a private, so uh, essentially an object is going in a new direction. Um, so that's defaulted at one because we haven't put um, anything else there unlike these so um, and direction the first time we see direction here is that we're going in a new direction with our horizontal and our vertical we're not going anywhere with our y-axis so we are moving along our z-axis vertically and our horizontally with our x-axis then um, our direction is times by our speed variable what I'm trying to get at is that direction is a big part of this. So what we need to say is, let's get direction up, if we type direction, there we go. And something that we're looking for um, is called, um, I believe, transform direction. Okay, 
So just to make sure, we're going to actually have a look on Scripting API because I keep saying, look at Scripting API, and so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to Scripting API. There it is. Um, and what we're going to look up is Scripting API. Let's click onto that. Oh, we're onto that. Uh, transform direction. Just to make sure I've got the right thing. So I've kind of come into this. Aha, uh -huh, transform dot transform direction. Okay. So I would have written the script wrong. Thank God for Unity. Eh? Uh, public vector three, transform direction, vector three direction. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. There we go. There it is. So, description transforms our direction from local space to world space. And I said exactly that's what we're stuck in. We're stuck in our local space and we want to be in our world space because our camera is um, looking and using the world space direction. So um, you should use transform transform point for conversation if the vector represents a position rather than a direction. We're not going to use that. We're not going to totally change our position. We're just changing the direction so we can move in that direction. So I think we are going to stick with transform dot transform direction. So what we're going to do, so hopefully this should work. So if we go direction equals transform dot transform direction, there it is. Got worried then couldn't see it. That should work. Um, no, why does that not work? Cannot convert the method group of transform direction to a non-delegate type vector free. Did you intend to invoke the method? Um, no. Uh, if that was method group transform direction to a non-delegate. Oh, actually, oh, okay. So it wants us to, but if direction, okay, let's just try this. This might work. Uh, do, 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 do. Bracket. Aha, there we go. Let's try that. It just needed to be called up at the end as well. Okay, so we'll save that. Let's go to here. Uh, nope, let's go back to Unity. Let's press play. So if I'm looking around, I'm looking around, so I'm looking this way, I want to walk this way. Yes, there we go. So we've now transformed. Look that way. Awesome. Move backwards. Cool. Turn that way. Awesome. So this essentially fixes and sorts out the whole of our third person controller. We can look, we can look up and we can look down, we can look across and we move in the direction we're looking and that's absolutely perfect. That works lovely and fine. Okay, so when I, I don't know, uh, it might be this, the sensitivity on my mouse or it could be something to do with Unity. So we can add something to our looking around. So when I find, when I press play and I'm looking around, it's just a bit laggy. I feel like I have to, you can probably even hear me scrape my mouse along my desk to try and look around in a different direction to then move. So what we need to do and what we can add very easily, just like a speed variable, once we've added, when we added a speed variable before, we're going to add a camera sensitivity to our um, cameras, to our X and Y axes on our um, camera controls. So if we go back into our script, scroll up here, and da, 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 let's just, we can create something here, can't we? So let's do another let's just do it here. another serialized field and then we can go private float so just like our speed and then um, we can call this cam sensitivity um, and let's equal this to 1.5 f just to be different there we go. So we would add our cam sensitivity to our rotation because we want that to become either quicker or smoother with um, this ver uh, this variable up here. So what we would do, we're just going to times it. 
So we can just do times by our, let's just do a space, space times by our underscore chemical sensitivity. Lovely, and we're going to do that with a Y as well. So, uh, blah, 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 times by our underscore cam sensitivity. Awesome, save that. And now in our player, oh, let that sort itself out. In our player, we should have cam sensitivity. There we go, at 1.5, and we can change that. So, just to make sure this works, this initially press play. I don't think we have any issues. That's a little bit better. Let's just ramp it up, for example, to 16. Click back on. Whoa, yep, that's working. That's definitely working. Cool. So I'm going to come out and play, and that should default to 1.5. Lovely. So um, we've changed our local space to world space. So we're moving in the direction we're looking. And we've also just added a sensitivity to our camera look so you can change that um, throughout especially if you go into controllers and controllers can seem a lot heavier than a mouse um, later on uh, do, 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 do. so let's us just clean up our script I don't want everything to be an update otherwise it just sometimes it can cause um, issues where everything is running at 60 frames per second and it just loses its mind sometimes um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new method just like we created a method for um, our movement we're going to create one for our camera so for our camera controls so I'm going to write void camera controls and do some curly brackets. Cool. So what I'm going to do is take all of our camera controls. I'm going to do Control X or Command X on a Mac. Take that off so that cuts, and we can Command V in here and paste our camera controls into there. Um, so we're not um, plugging up and um, blocking up. Our update so update can go oh let's call this this call that and then these methods are elsewhere um, and that's just just a nice bit of coding really so what we're going to do is like I did before and, and a mistake I did before was I never actually even though I wrote movement in and there was no kind of bug there I never told update to call up movement so just like camera controls I need camera controls to be called up by update so I'm just going to type in camera controls, bracket, bracket, semicolon, and that will call up our camera controls. So if I save that, that should clean up everything. Press play. Oh, it's just reading it. Play. If nothing works, something's gone wrong, but no, we're looking around, we're moving. Lovely. So our camera working, everything's working. And that should just be a little bit smoother all right okay well this was a bit of a spontaneous video so it was just really a little bit of cleanup work adding the camera sensitivity and sorting out that little bit of problem we had with local space to world space but it's all now fixed and we have a perfectly running controller as well as um, our camera controls as well um, Okay, we'll, I will figure out what we're going to do for our next video in our third-person shooter or third-person controller game thing. Cool. Thank you. See you later. Bye.